Adobe just released two new versions of Lightroom, and we wanted to go over some of the changes to the desktop-based version, now called Lightroom Classic CC. The main headline here is that Adobe has given Lightroom a much-needed performance boost, which is what we're most excited about. On import, the embedded and sidecar preview option has been optimized for culling images, so you don't have to use another application like Photo Mechanic. Import speed has been improved across the board, so to test, I imported 296 raw photos, which took a minute and a half in Lightroom Classic. The same import in Lightroom CC 2015 took 2 minutes and 50 seconds, making Classic almost twice as fast on import. Switching between photos in the library module also got a speed boost, and switching to the develop module as a whole is now considerably faster, which has always been an annoyance of ours. And since we shoot a lot of weddings, the simplest things like moving from photo to photo in a catalog can be super frustrating when Lightroom takes a while to load each image. So luckily, switching between photos in the develop module is greatly improved. I built standard previews to test out the speed switching between photos. The screen recording software I'm using to record this is slowing it down a bit, but try it out for yourself. It's definitely way better. Masking also got a huge improvement with the addition of color range and luminance range masks. If I paint over Rachel, incredibly sloppy, with an adjustment brush, I can refine the mask to just affect Rachel by going down to the range mask and selecting luminance. I'll just adjust the range until the mask is constrained to just Rachel. Now I can easily lift the shadows or make any other adjustments. The luminance range mask also works perfectly for any sky adjustments. We can also make a color range mask in a similar fashion. Just use the eyedropper to select the colors you want included. Click and drag with the eyedropper for a more accurate sampling of the colors and shift click to add additional color points if needed. This makes it super easy to quickly mask things without having to take it into Photoshop. While there are a few other smaller improvements and added features, these are really the highlights of the update. Current Creative Cloud subscribers should be pleased with these improvements, so make sure you update Lightroom through Creative Cloud to check it out. If you hate paying monthly for software, you're probably not a fan considering Adobe announced Lightroom 6 is the last standalone version and it will no longer be updated after 2017. We hope you found this video helpful, so please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will be back on Monday.